So I haven't done any Minecraft content for quite a while, so I thought I'd start by doing a tour of my house. So, my house? My world! So this is my house. Uh, this is curtains, it's banners, so whether I'll end up doing the curtains like that in the end or not, I don't know. I haven't done all the curtains or the window frames yet. I have this storage system, though. This is the maximum number of chests you can reach as one player, while still having an entrance. I guess I could have done a bubble vator so that you can even reach the side. Maybe I could have done some on the top or bottom, but... Uh... Wait, no, you can place item frames on the underside of chests. So, this could be better. I've just realised this, this place could be even better. But whether I'll do that or not, I don't know. So, I've got all my storage here anyway. I've got a few shulkers, I've got some spare shulker boxes in here that I haven't used yet. Spare diamonds there, obviously. Uh, dragon head from an end city. I've got a dragon egg, but I don't know what to do with it. I haven't built things for the dragon egg yet. This is my iron farm. It's very efficient. Um, drop nearly a stack, and I've only recently empty. Oh, that creepy spawn, that's nice. We have our purple flowers here. I've mined out an entire chunk, ready for making, obviously, a slime farm. Right, any slimes right here at the moment, but there often are. This is the village. I started um, this world by putting fences around the village, but I have since moved all of the villagers into this little fun bit, bit, uh, what? How did this happen? How did this happen? Did, did this guy reach through? Or... Oh no. Oh no. Um, you know what? I might just start from scratch with my breeder up here. Alright. Oh yeah, here's my villager breeder. I don't have a carrot supply at the moment, so I have to feed them myself. But these two guys will indefinitely produce a rain of villagers as long as you keep them fed. I guess this was asking to happen, it's not particularly safe. They're so loud! I, for the life of me, cannot tell why. Why the sky Right, so hard to protect you. Um But I have more villagers um under here. And these guys should be safe because there's no way for them to get out. These guys have already been cured. Cheap trade. He's not very cheap. I'm going to get a new librarian for protection at some point. But yeah, this is my villager full design. Oh, there's armor under there. Yep, very cheap armor themselves. Very nice. When you can't be bothered to place a few extra dirt blocks. So you're just using the lighter instead. Uh, yep, I might want to repair... Yeah, I might want to repair this elytra, so... To repair it, I'll, uh, uh, well, the fastest way would be to probably, what's this gravel doing here? The fastest way to repair it would be to trade with some villagers, but, might as well show you my enderman farm. Now, this is my sugarcane farm, obviously it was a temporary measure, but it's been here quite a while. Um, how come all of the sugarcane's broken? Who did that? That's not very good. There we go. Let's empty this sugarcane farm. Um, I've got a horse in a hole because I haven't built a stable yet. I've got some sheep in a hole because I haven't done the sheep thing yet. I've got this farm here. Uh, now, I haven't planted any crops, but when you press the button, it flushes just enough to put all of the crops into here. And then they all get collected into this barrel automatically, which I think is quite nice. I've got my nether portal here, which if you look at it from above, it's like a crack of netherrack, obviously. This is a very efficient uh, cow farm. 
you just have to stand in this little dip here, feed them, and they'll come around automatically, and then you get all your food out there. Oh, I've got 40 steak. Now that's probably a better food source than chicken. And that's everything in this part of the overworld. In case you're wondering why I'm using diamond and not netherite, it's because I had netherite and then I lost it. So let's go to the nether to have a look at some of the rest of my world. I haven't even got a piglin trade or something yet. There's so many things in my country building. It's crazy. Oh, it's a shame I don't have my soul speed boots on, then I could whiz around on that soul sand. Let's put them on, and then we can whiz around on our way back. And I don't have efficiency on my silt touch pickaxe, so... Ah! There we go. I did break it. Oh, where's my ender chest gone? Oh, my ender chest has gone through the portal. <laughs> And on this side of the portal, we have tree farm. And this is also my mining desert, where I mine sand. There's not really much else uh, here. Let's go back to the nether. And if we go through this portal, it will take you to my mob farm. Now it turns out that there's a player in one of the worst places to make a mob farm because you don't get any zombie drops. The husks automatically avoid water. But that might be a good thing because rotten flesh is useless. And it still gives plenty of gunpowder for my elytra and plenty of bones for farming. So it's not too bad. There's also a chicken farm here which is nice to get food automatically when you're using the farm, but I don't eat chicken much on this world. You can come over here, you can actually fly around and the mob farm. Have a good look at what's going on. Here's the spawning uh, box, just the perfect stone box, which is quite nice. And then there's the area where we have just been. And down, oh, in the chest there, down here is a bastion, and I don't have gold boots on. I don't have gold boots on. Oh dear. Okay, let's, let's put gold boots on. Maybe a diamond chest plate, just in case. And we can have a little bit of a look in the bastion. I haven't even opened a single chest in this bastion yet because I am so scared of it. The, the, what? Is this a bastion? That was one hit, wasn't it? Not that oh, how are you not one hit? This is like a power three bow. Power one one hits gas. Oh well. Uh, yeah, so this is quite a fancy bastion. There's lots of levels, lots of things going on. But there's so many ways to fall down. Uh, so I'm a little bit wary. Isn't that a brute down there? I think it is. So I'm a little bit wary of exploring this just yet, but I will definitely do that at some point. But in the meantime, 
we will go to the fortress next. Have a look at that. Now, you may have noticed I have a beacon. Because, I mean, just from the fact that uh, I have mined out a chunk. You know, and also the beacon beam. Oh, I'm not wearing my leg. Um... I have spent quite a bit of time in my fortress. I think I spent something like three hours to get the skills for the beacon. Just going backwards and forwards and around. Yay, salt speed. <laughs> Just have more salt sand, even though even though Elytra is much faster. It's still nice to be able to walk around quickly. Mm -hmm. This force is a long way away from home. Oh, there's still a ton of netherrack that hasn't despawned yet. half a stack of rockets just to get there. Okay. Chest plate goes on, and my elytra is nearly broken. Skeleton, but I uh, don't see one. Let's have a look around this fortress. So there's a blaze spawner conveniently there. But uh, I think if we go in here, there's more up here, there's more open area. This is the main body of the fortress. guys around. I can hear a blaze, I don't know if it's behind me. Yeah, there's tons of these guys on that place over there. Basically it's a big fortress, I'm not too worried about showing you all of that to be completely honest. Let's just find some gold. Because I don't have a gold farm yet. That's how bad I am. Why am I making gold from the world? Again? fortune yet, so I think fortune gives you 10 nuggets on average, which is slightly better than smelting, so oh, I just heard a noise oh, I can hear blazes and all sorts and our next stop is the end Oh, I don't like Poglins, I'm gonna fly right. Okay. 
hit on me. <laughs> I did that much damage and I was flying over it. Why did it not? I kept pressing rockets and it wasn't making me fly, I don't know why. That rhymes. Go to the end. Upset that guy there. That's good. Yes, I know the fastest way down would be to land on that platform, but that's just a teeny bit risky. Electro is now repaired. That's kind of all I have on my wheel at the moment, if I think about it. Yep, that's it.